Hello world, today I will be talking about a problem that I faced as a beginner with Scanf. But first, I want to make it clear that C Scanf is not meant to be used for user input. But as a beginner, most of the problems I was given involved developing programs with a command line interface, and I did not know better. So, I've got a part of the program where I'm asking for a name, then an age, then the gender, and printing the same along with the word saying male or female based on the value of gender. Let's look at what happens when I run this program. I'll be asked for a name, this will work just fine, then age, which will also work fine, but as soon as I press return, instead of the program waiting for me to input a character, just goes ahead. So let's do some debugging by printing what's getting stored inside gender. Now when I run it, I should be able to see the mystery character, but I don't, although I do. Well, by then, I'd known that I could just use a percent %u to print the ASCII code for a character, which I did, and found out that a 10 was getting stored inside gender. The ASCII table uh, said that a 10 is a line feed. A line feed as a character in C is a new line that is slash n. So where did that come from? The enter key. Every time we hit it, we send a new line. And that's where it came from. Let's get one level deep and understand what happens when our program writes to and reads from the console. We're back to our snippet, so when we do a printf, the characters in the string literal are first written to a buffer called the standard out. We only see it on the console when it's flushed, that is clear from the buffer, and written to the console. When scanf is called, the program is blocked until we press enter. Everything we type in the console will be written to standard n after hitting return, including the new line. After which, scanf starts consuming data, and as we're using a percent %s, all characters will be consumed by scanf into the variable name, uh, that is genie stored in the name array. But instead of copying a new line into the array, a zero is appended to name for terminating the string. This is internal to scanf. Another problem you could face here would be a buffer overrun. If a user presses enter after supplying more characters than the variable was expecting. But let's say that that in, did not happen and the program goes ahead and prints age and waits for a number to be put in. And again, it won't be unblocked until we hit return. So doing so, we'll also add a slash n into the buffer. But in the scan of call, we say a percent %d. So all the characters in the standard n will be consumed until a character that's not a digit is encountered, after which an attempt is made to convert the red digits into an integer and store it inside age. But notice that this time the new line was not consumed because of percent %d. Then we print gender onto the screen and hit the problematic scan statement. Okay, scanf does not always wait. It does when the standard n is empty, but as it's not, it's directly going to read one character from standard n and store that inside gender. Surprise, surprise, the user will not be prompted for an input and the program proceeds to print the gender as female as the content of gender was a line feed and not an M. Let's pedal back and see what happens if a user inputs 6M and hits enter for the scanf. 6 is consumed and stored in age with M and line feed in standard N as we have a percent %c, one character, that is M, will be consumed and stored inside gender without waiting for user input. So this time the output would be genie is a six-year-old male. The solution? Have that weird space before the percent %c. That will correspond to any white space. That is, it will consume any new lines, any number of new lines, tabs, any number of spaces. It will consume all the white spaces until a non-white space character is encountered. If there are none, standard n will be empty, prompting the user for input as expected. But it's problematic if the user enters some non-white space characters after the number during the previous scanf. Then they would remain and the first character would be consumed and assigned to gender. A better solution? You might see a flush of standard n thrown around, but it's an undefined behavior in C standards. I won't go into too much detail, but if you think about it, flushing an input stream wouldn't make much sense. Where would you flush it to? There are some implementations that in some cases discard the contents of the input stream, which would work fine for us, but the language itself does not define it, so it's not recommended that you use it. 
The better solution? A loop to just consume characters until it's a new line. Get car reads one character from standard in and returns it. Since we're not doing anything with the return value apart from comparing it with the new line, it's as good as we're discarding the contents of the buffer. The behavior is perfectly defined, I think. When we hit this line, standard, standard in will be empty and the user will be prompted for input and everybody's happy. Fgetis though is a better option. One of the arguments it takes is the number of bytes to be read which helps prevent a buffer overrun. You read the line and store it in a character array then scan from that array using sscanf in the desired format. But anyway, you can control what a user can put in and it's a tough job to handle every case but this could take care of some of them. That is it for this time. If you like the content, please press the like button. If you think someone you know might benefit from this, please share. And if you want to consume this type of content, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.